Hi Darren, welcome to your free website review video. So the first, first thing we check is the page speed. Uh, you'll normally see if you've obviously watched one of the other videos. And it's coming back as five seconds, which is good. So that's um, that's fine. You could There could be a couple of small improvements and we could get this down to three seconds. Um, which would obviously, I wouldn't say it make a massive difference. Um, but you know it's always good to, to obviously improve the speed of the site uh, that's just the home page obviously you know you, to do this properly you need to check every single page in this free website review we only check the home page because uh, that's obviously the main the main one to check um, so yeah you can check that out yourself at testmysite.withgoogle.com the next thing is the SSL certificate which you've sorted um, WordPress security is I'm not sure whether you've sorted that because if you have obviously I wouldn't be able to see the plugins I can't see your plugins so I'm guessing you've got some kind of security in the back end um, but you should always obviously install a security plugin in the back end there is one that we recommend um, a free version and a paid version say you would only need the free version being the type of business that you are um, Next thing is the GDPR. I think you've got that sorted. You've got the pop-up cookie box, which is fine. And you've got the terms and conditions and privacy policy. And as long as the cookie information is in there, that's fine. Now, the next one, I think this is the one that you probably, the reason why you're asking for this video is the conversion optimization. So a couple of quick things. A live chat facility. Um, if you're able to answer live chat during the day. If not, you can have it say leave a message you know in a pop-up box here and um, a little bit like this website so they're able to basically when they land on the website you've got to try and cover every eventuality of uh, kind of the user experience um, and how a client a potential client is going to react now there's like five different things that they can do they can either look for a phone number straight away and call you so obviously you've got that um, a contact form which is probably the least favorable now um, the, the obviously the main one is the live chat facility um, but also a lot of, you need a lot of social proof on the site so as I'm if I was to land on this website obviously I already have searched for you and I already know what you do I know you do content writing so that's fine but in this section here, this is the people, this is the mistake that everyone makes. They don't put any kind of pr social proof. There's nothing to tell me why you're better than your competitors, why I should choose you over your competitors. And um, so the perfect example of, you know, a, a good kind of homepage in this instance would be to have a video testimonial here. This could be moved to the left. You could have a video testimonial or even just a better testimonial than you've currently got on the site. These are no, absolutely no good whatsoever. Nobody believes these uh, anymore, whether there's a logo there or not. Um, you know, there's been a study done and, you know, people asked, and I think something like 85% of people don't take any notice of user-generated testimonials, which is what that is. Um, now, obviously, getting a video testimonial is... You know, it's quite a lot of work uh, in terms... Well, people are quite daunted by the task. Um, but if you can, you know, if you've done work for friends or family or, you know, someone that you know that you can ask them to do a quick video testimonial, you can go and visit them, set it up. You can obviously video it on your phone. And then if you're any good with any video or anything software, you can just edit that into a nice video. If not, you know, we could potentially do that for you. Uh, I've just noticed that you're actually in New York, um, so I'm not even sure whether you would even use my services, but I'll still do the review video because you've asked for it and I'm a man of my word. So the next thing is lead magnets. Now, these are obviously the pop-up boxes where you're giving away something free before you know, you're know you actually trying to sell to the client. In this instance, these obviously give some free bookkeeping software. You could actually give them a free guide on like the top 10 tips of um, how to structure 
your content if you want to write it yourself. Even though you would be giving this information away for free, nine times out of ten, people, even though they can do it themselves, they won't. But they're just interested to read the piece of content before. And then obviously, if they like the article or the PDF, ebook, whatever you want to call it, then they're obviously going to, you know, trust you and they're going to recognize that you know what you're talking about. You're the expert in the field and you will get the inquiry. Um, and also, you're collecting the email address at that point as well, which you should always be doing. You should always have. Um, you know, a, a section where people can fill in with their email address. Everyone seems to think that everyone's put off by this, but as long as you put a notification at the bottom of it to say, you know, we, we won't spam you, we, we, set, we don't send any marketing emails as such, we only send you free information and guides to help you get the best, you know, from your website or content writing services um, and, and approach it that way. Just not, don't try and sell to them straight away. Um, Obviously, the blog, I've just looked at the blog and that's, that needs sorting out. But you do need some blog posts on there. You know, if you're a, you're professing to be a content writer, yet you've not wrote any content for your own blog. So that doesn't obviously look good, which I appreciate you probably only just set this up. Um, but that's something I would literally sit down this weekend and, and do because it's not, it's not something difficult. Um, next thing is... I'm not, I'm not going to touch on the more advanced procedures because I think you're a long way away from those yet. But you can check them out, uh, Lead Forensics and Hotjar. So just Google those companies, have a read of those websites. But I wouldn't recommend going and obviously signing up for any of those services until your website is, is on point, uh, which is quite far away from being just yet. The other thing is obviously collecting reviews on other platforms. Um, now here in the UK we have reviews.co.uk, we have Trustpilot, not sure, there'll, there'll be ones in America, I'm not going to look into it because I don't really deal with many American clients. And like I said, I don't think you would use me anyway. Um, but if you did, if you did want to use my services, um, I would obviously do that research for you and make sure that we, we chose the right review platform. But they're, they're good because you can obviously integrate them into your website so that when you're collecting the reviews, they actually collate on the external website, but then they automatically copy over to your website as well, um, which is obviously beneficial. Um, and the other thing is just the video, really. Um, you know, blogging, definitely 100%. And then video, whether that's explainer videos, whether that's... Um, one second. I did have a, a, a tab up for the videos. I've lost it. Um, so basically, when it, in terms of video, not just a video as in advertising your services, again, not trying to sell, but a video kind of outlining why it's beneficial to have content written, especially for people, because it's still one of these kind of taboo niches where people think, well, if they don't know about my business, how are they going to write about it? So you need to kind of get that across in your website, and I don't really see much of that. Although it says we have worked with blogs, corporate, hospitality, um, you know, you need to give some examples of your work. Um, so obviously these don't click anywhere either. So there's just no, there's just no, there's no social proof and there's no kind of case studies or work proof. So you know, if it was me and I landed on this website, I, I definitely wouldn't, um, you know, input my details into there. I'd want to see a company who can show me the work that they've done and hopefully some testimonials as well. So I've just touched on a few of the things. I've not gone into much detail because, um, like I said, I think your website needs updating a bit first, but hopefully you've got a couple of little nuggets and if you need any more information, you know, you only need to ask, mate. Cheers.